Have you ever wondered what the very first human invention was? Was it fire? Was it farming? Well, actually it was something far simpler. A stone. Picture this. A lone hunter stumbles across an open plain. His prey, a massive bison, thundering hooves drumming a deadly tattoo on the hard ground. Its thick hide is a natural armor, its sharp horns a deadly weapon. To take it down, he'd need a sharp edge, something to give him an advantage in the fight for survival. Then he sees it, a loose stone on the ground, not just any stone, but one that catches the light just so, revealing a sharp edge. With a flick of his wrist, he throws it, hoping to catch the beast off guard. The stone strikes true, finding purchase on the bison's shoulder. Startled, the animal roars in pain and surprise. The hunter presses his attack, driving the bison back, forcing it to the ground. With each strike of stone against flesh, he edges closer to victory. Finally, with a last desperate charge, the bison falls, mortally wounded. The hunter stands over his fallen prey, chest heaving, muscles aching. But a new feeling stirs within him, the taste of triumph, the thrill of survival. As he begins to feast on the warm carcass, he realizes that this victory was not just about strength or speed. It was about using his intelligence, his ability to understand and utilize the world around him. This realization sparks a new curiosity within him, a desire to understand the properties of stone, to learn how to make them sharper, harder, more durable. So he gathers up stones of different shapes and sizes, experimenting with each one, trying to understand their strengths and weaknesses. Slowly but surely, he begins to master the art of stone striking, turning ordinary stones into sharp tools capable of cutting, piercing, and crushing. And as he continues to experiment, he discovers even more uses for these tools, not just for hunting but for everyday life. He learns how to scrape hides into clothing, how to carve wood into spears and arrowheads, how to crack bones for marrow that can nourish his body and fuel his brain. With each new discovery, life becomes a little easier a little safer, a little more bearable. And as the generations pass on his knowledge, humans spread across the world, each generation building on the last until they become the dominant species on Earth. So the next time you pick up a rock, remember it's not. It's just a stone. It's a legacy. A testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the human spirit. A reminder that even the smallest pebble can be a powerful tool in the right hands. The Stone Age wasn't just a time of struggle and survival. It was the birth of creativity, and it all began with the first spark of an idea struck from stone.